10, a local group is working to get nearly 30 veterans back home. They were deported to Mexico years ago for offenses ranging from drug possession to having a phony birth certificate. But they say that their lives are in danger and they want to come home. Fox 40's Rowena Shaddix live for us tonight from the American Veterans First Headquarters in Riverbank. Ro. Well, Eric, these veterans are in fear for their lives, but they also, some of them are in poor health and none of them are receiving any kind of medical care, despite all of them being honorably discharged. This is not a life. I'm just surviving day by day. That's all we can do here. This man served in the U.S. Marine Corps. We're not showing you his face or using his name. Since he was deported to Mexico six years ago, he's been beaten and tortured for not wanting to work for a criminal enterprise. I want America to know that we are in danger. This is a dangerous place. I want to go back to El Paso and be with my family. This is Jerry. He may look older, but he's 56. He's a diabetic amputee who suffered a stroke, and he's living in a homeless shelter. I'm sorry for what I did. That I'm, I'm really sorry, and uh, I wanna, I wanna change my life and be like I was when I was young. These aren't gangsters. These are men that just want to live out their life in peace. Combat veterans. Duke Cooper is the founder and CEO of American Veterans First, a nonprofit which provides help to veterans and first responders. Through Operation Forgotten Valor, they're helping these men and 26 other veterans who were deported to Mexico. These vets served all branches of service, ranging from the Vietnam War to Afghanistan. These men uh, committed minor offenses, and compared to today, one was deported for life. Uh, because he got a DUI. They recently returned from Juarez, Mexico, where they provided food and other necessities to vets. Any Stuff that we take for granted yeah. here, you know, they are very, very thankful to have. American Veterans First depends on donations to help others, and Duke is rallying to get a humanitarian pardon for these men so they can come home and get the medical care they've earned. It's not right. They need to make it right. And if you would like to help American Veterans First, we've attached a link to this web story along with their email address. Just go to fox40.com. Reporting live in Riverbank tonight, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News. Ro, thank you.